Hey guys, it's Janie from Savvy for Life. Welcome to my channel. I'm an interior designer and this channel is all about sharing my tips on how to create a beautiful home as well as living your savviest life. I truly believe that one area of happiness is to progress in life. And so watching my videos, I hope I'm able to share some of my tips on all areas of your life and making you your happiest and living your best life possible. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 tips on how you can create your space to feel and look bigger. These tips are not in any particular order, so um, and these are things that you can incorporate some today and some that may uh, be something to consider for the future. So here we go. Number 10 is stay monochromatic. It's really important not to use too many colors in a space. So if you have like an accent wall or you have one color for the walls, but you have a completely different color for the rug and then you have another color as your sofa and another color for your chairs, having too many colors in a space will break it up and make the space feel smaller. So you wanna choose one color and use a monochromatic color scheme. And when I say one color, I'm not talking about, you know, choosing white and making everything white. No, I'm talking about choosing a color and choosing variations of the color. So if it's white, you can put like a white gray on the walls and maybe do like a creamier white on the sofa and maybe more of like a bluish white on the rugs, but trying to keep that space um, as monochromatic as possible. With less contrasting colors, you will have a space that feels larger. Number nine, keeping the furniture low. Now, when you have furniture that has a really high back, such as a sofa or an armchair or a dining chair, it really breaks up that sight line. And so in order to get that empty space above that visual space to feel wide and big, you need to keep that furniture low. The lower the furniture, the wider the room will feel. Number eight is lighten up. Lighten up meaning um, try not to use a lot of dark colors. If you do have a lot of dark colors, replace them with lighter colors. Maybe if you have a dark piece of furniture, you wanna paint it a lighter color. Or if you don't have a lot of natural light, try to inject more artificial light in the space, whether it's putting more recessed lights in the room, adding a floor lamp or table lamps, just making that space feel brighter will obviously make the space feel larger. Number seven, keep the flooring continuous. And what I mean is, even in a small space, if you have a different floor for the foyer and you have a different floor for the the kitchen and a different floor for the living room and another floor for the bedroom and another floor for the hallway, you're really breaking up that visual impact in that space. So try to keep everything to a minimum. Um, in my house, I actually have uh, one flooring. It's a wood flooring that goes throughout all the main living areas. My living room, dining room, hallway, foyer, kitchen. Yes, I have wood in my kitchen. Um, I feel like once you keep everything flowing, uh, smoothly, especially in a small space, uh, it will make the space feel bigger. Number six, less is more. And what I mean by that is when you're deciding on, um, even for a small space, whether you should go with two smaller pieces of furniture versus that one larger piece of furniture, my suggestion is to go with the larger piece of furniture, but keep it to a minimum. So. I don't like to clutter a small space. I feel like the more you clutter it, and the more it's going to feel cramped and small. Um, surprisingly, if you use a larger piece of furniture and just keeping that to a minimum, it can really expand the room and make it feel larger. So keep your furniture to a minim minimum, edit down things, and only keep what is truly necessary for a small space. Number five is go large with the area rug. I say go big or go home. Um, I don't like rooms that have small area rugs. I feel like it just brings everything inward, your sight line, everything kind of comes inward rather than going outward and expanding out visually. Um, so go as large as you can and go as large as you can afford. I know rugs can get very expensive, especially as they get into larger sizes but really expanding that floor space 
uh, with a larger rug will make the room feel bigger. Number four is go extra high and extra wide with your window treatments. When you're hanging uh, your curtains, um, don't just hang it right above the window casing. Uh, if there's some room to go above that, maybe as close to the ceiling as possible, I always say raise the rod as high as you possibly can um, and then go as wide. Raising it high just makes, sure, makes your eyes go from floor to ceiling and it continually brings that um, sight line upward which makes the room feel taller. Now expanding the drapes sideways, um, taking it past the window size and putting the drapes past that size, the, the window, you will also create the illusion of possibly having a larger window behind those drapes and it will create also a wider wall which is also expanding the space. Um, so with your drapes, hang them as high as possible and as wide as possible. Number three is go big with art. Art um, or anything that you're hanging on the wall, I feel like, again, think of your wall space, kind of like your floor space. Again, with the rugs, having going larger with the rugs, same thing on the walls. It's a visual sight line. You don't want to be having um, a small piece of art just sitting on that wall. It looks really lonely and then it brings your sight line just into that one little area. When you have a larger piece of art, or um, if that's not possible, you can cluster a bunch of art to give it the impact of one large art. It expands that wall visually and it makes the room feel larger. And number two is keeping things symmetrical. Whenever I can, I, I always like to design a room um, using symmetry in mind, like having two pairs, of, uh, like a pair of chairs, maybe a pair of bookshelves, um, just the pair uh, or visually having one and on one side and a, the same thing on the other um, gives the illusion of, of a bigger space. So whenever you can, try and keep things to a pair. And number one is make sure you have a very good flow to the space. Um, look at your floor plan, look at where your furniture placement is. The last thing you want to do is in a small space, have like a huge bookshelf that's obstructing the view or the sight line. As soon as you walk in, you don't want to have this big piece of furniture that's in its way. So um, there's a little bit of planning involved and this may take some practice, but you want to really look at your floor plan and lay out your furniture so that there's a nice flow uh, visually and just by you even functionally walking through. Uh, placing your sofa a certain way so that it doesn't obstruct the view. Um, putting armchairs or bookshelves in a certain part of the, the space to make it feel taller and bigger. So getting a really good flow in the space will make the space feel bigger. So that's it guys, that's, those are my top 10 tips on how you can create uh, your space to feel bigger. I hope that one or some of those ideas was helpful for you and that you can incorporate some of that today into your space. Um, these are things that it's not too hard to do, but if you consider that and replan or rearrange your furniture, change out the colors, um, get larger pieces, maybe edit things down, those are all going to really help your space feel larger. And if you haven't already guys, smash that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and I will be giving you a lot more videos on how you can create a beautiful home and also live your savviest life. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time guys, I love you and have a wonderful day and stay savvy.